Garrett, where are you? We need to talk. Call me ASAP. I'm at work. Just text it to me. What's wrong? It's about your fiance. You must call off the wedding immediately. What are you talking about? Why would I do that? She's keeping secrets from you. You have no idea what she's really like. She's nothing but trouble. The sooner you get rid of her, the better. Listen. Rosalie, we've been over this. I'm going to marry Tiffany no matter what you say. I'd appreciate it if you stopped insulting her. But this time I have undeniable proof that she's only with you because of your money. You should at least hear me out. Fine, you can tell me what it is. I found out that she's in debt. Who's in debt? Tiffany. I heard from a friend of a friend that she owes thousands to some bookie in Florida. You've been gossiping about her. Have you no shame accusing her without proof? Are you seriously reprimanding me right now? Did you miss the part where I exposed your fiance's true nature? You're marrying a gambling addict. Who told you this nonsense? Nonsense? Are you saying... I'm lying to you? I can't believe you are this blinded by love. I know you are telling the truth. Or, well... A very warped version of the truth. Wait, hold on a second. You knew she was in debt? Of course I did. Though she's not indebted to a bookie, she owes money to her own father. He gave her an interest-free student loan, and she's been paying it off diligently. I offered to help, but she said it was her responsibility, and she'd take care of it herself. Are you sure she's telling the truth? I'm positive. Now that we've settled that, could you tell me who's been spreading these nasty rumors about Tiffany? My source wishes to remain anonymous. Is your source one of your classmates? I'd like to have a word with their parents. It's not someone you know. Anyway, just because she didn't lie about this doesn't mean her intentions are pure. I'll prove that she's a gold digger. What's your deal, Rosalie? Why are you so hellbent on slandering your future sister-in-law's reputation? It's not slander if it's true. Why else would someone like her want to marry someone like you? Excuse me? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, stop playing dumb. You know what I'm talking about. No, I really don't. Please do elaborate. Fine, as you wish. Tiffany's a good-looking, fun-loving young woman, and you're, well, how do I put this? You are not someone one might consider conventionally attractive. On top of that, your personality is downright unpleasant at times. You can be so dull, arrogant, and joyless. The only thing you have going for you is your money. It's not difficult to see why she wants to marry you. Wow, okay. Thank you so much for that thoughtful insight. I wasn't trying to offend you. You know I always say things as they are. Is that so? Because the way I see it, you're just being rude. As your sister, it's my duty to be brutally honest with you. Have you seen the pictures of her ex-boyfriend? He's ridiculously handsome. He looks like an actual model. She's just settling for you because you're rich. Sorry, what? Where did you even see the photos of her ex? I saw them on his Instagram page, obviously. He's pretty famous, too. He has, like... 10,000 followers. So what? They dated ages ago. Why should I care about some random guy from her past? Uh, you should care because he's clearly her type? And the two of you are nothing alike. You look so uptight compared to him. No wonder Tiffany considers you husband material. It's always guys like you who fall victim to gold digger schemes. You aren't making any sense, Rosalie. Who's been filling your head with these crazy ideas? Nobody. These are my own thoughts and feelings. I've been reading stories about gold diggers on Reddit since I found out your fiance say was poor. Based on that, I've concluded that she's one of them. I'll keep her away at any cost. After all, it's not only your fortune she's jeopardizing. When you get divorced and you're left with nothing, mom's going to give you the money she's been saving up for me. First of all, she's not poor. She just has less money than we do. Even if she were poor, I don't see how that automatically make her a gold digger. And secondly, that's not how these things work. If we do get a divorce, which is highly unlikely, I promise it won't affect your finances in any way, shape, or form. How do I know you're telling the truth? You could be lying to get me off your back. Look, as much as I'd love to keep going with this very productive conversation, I have to get back to work. And one more thing, It'd probably be best if you didn't attend the wedding. What? Are you really uninviting me? You can't do that. Yes, I can. You don't support our union anyway. What does it matter if you're not in attendance? I may not like your bride, but I'm still your sister. I have every right to be there. I'm sorry, but I can't risk you causing mayhem at the ceremony. I won't do that. I was so sure you'd change your mind about marrying her that I invited everyone in my class. When they get notified that the wedding was off, I was going to impress everyone with the story of how my older brother sent the gold digger packing. If the wedding ceremony takes place, I must be there. I can't appear unsupportive in front of everyone. I swear I'll be nice to her. I'm not sure if I believe that. I swear on our father's grave. I don't want to miss out on such a special occasion. Are you sure you'll behave yourself? Yes, I promise. 
fine. You can come, but as soon as you act up, you'll be escorted from the venue. Thank you so much! I knew you wouldn't leave me behind! Hey, Tiffany, can I talk to you for a second? I need to tell you something important. Hello, Rosalie. What is it you'd like to talk about? I have bad news. Oh no, I hope everything's all right. Unfortunately, everything's not all right. My brother's gone bankrupt. He has no money left. I'm sorry you had to find out this way. Has he really? Are you sure? I am. He told me to keep it a secret for now, but I thought you deserved to know before the wedding. Oh my God, that's awful. What happened? How could he have lost everything overnight? It wasn't overnight. He's been losing money for a while now. I just found out last night when I accidentally caught a glimpse of his bank account. I'm so sorry. But the wedding's tomorrow. What are we going to do? What can we do? We're just going to support him as he tries to recover. Of course, until then, he's going to be poverty stricken. No, we can't just sit here idly. We have to take action. We have to help him. You also want to help your brother, right? Of course. But there's nothing I can do. I don't even have any money saved up. Don't worry about that. I'll take care of the money. You just look after your brother while I'm gone, okay? Gone? Wait, where are you going? I'm going to a place where I can make a lot of money. With our help, Garrett will be back on his feet in no time. I don't understand what's going on. I'll update you along the way, I promise. Okay? Rosalie, I, I need your help. I think I'm lost. What do you mean? Where are you? I'm in New York City. What? Why? I came here to make money as we planned, but now I'm lost. Did you know that Wall Street was an actual street? I thought it was like a bank or something. Seriously? It literally has street in its name. Okay, well, it also has wall in its name. That doesn't mean I should assume it's a wall. Oh my god. Anyway, I heard this is where people made money, but... I've been walking around for an hour wondering which building I should enter. Could, could you Google that for me? You younglings are so much better at this stuff. I don't know what you want me to do. Where do you even want to go? The NYSE? The what? Just look for the richest building on Wall Street. I'm sure you'll find something. Take a look at this photo. This is where I'm standing. If it's one of these buildings, tell me immediately, okay? I'm not doing that. That's crazy. Why not? Remember, we're doing this for your brother. We have to join forces. Wait, I think I found what I was looking for. You did? For real? Yes, I think he's exactly what we need. He? Yes. I found a wealthy old gentleman leaving one of the buildings. I'm going to get him to give me his money. No, wait. You can't just rob people. You'll get arrested. Relax. I'm not going to rob him. I'm going to marry him. What? I'll marry him, and when he passes, I'll give his money to Garrett so that we can get married. Married. It's the perfect plan. No, it's not. It's not even a good plan. Being a gold digger is already bad enough, but now you're also trying to become a black widow? Just come back and tell Garrett the wedding's off. Why would I do that? I love him. We'll get through this together. This is insane. You're insane. You need to return right now. Tiffany? Garrett, your fiancé's gone rogue. Please ask her to stop. What are you talking about? Is this another one of your attempts at breaking us up? You swore you'd stop. I promise that's not what this is. This is serious. Your fiancé's in New York City trying to marry some rich old man and steal his money. Now I know you're joking. This is far too ridiculous, even for you. How could I ever believe that? But I'm telling the truth. Isn't this her number? Look at what she's been texting me. What is this? Did you have something to do with this? No, of of course not. Then why did she write this to you? I have no idea. She just randomly said it. Probably because she's a gold digger. You do realize that once I'm there, Tiffany will tell me what's really going on, right? Well, now I do. So, will you tell me what really happened? Fine. I told her you'd gone bankrupt. Why? To have her show her real colors to you, but she hopped on a plane and went to NYC. She's seriously erratic. I've helped you dodge a bullet. I can't believe you do something so outrageous. How could you try to deceive your future sister-in-law? She, she's not answering her phone. What if she's in danger? That rich old man could have been just about anyone. Wouldn't you feel guilty if something happened to her because of your little scheme? Nothing's going to happen to her. She probably turned off her phone to focus all her attention on her new victim. I'm going to book a plane ticket as soon as possible and go to her. Are you crazy? You shouldn't do that. She chose someone else over you. She was only trying to help me. I'm not going to lose her. Garrett, no. You can't just run after her. Garrett. Ugh, why is nobody listening to me? 
SOS, this is bad. This is really bad. Tiffany, where have you been? We've been calling you nonstop. I need help. I think I'm about to be arrested. What are you saying? Did you meet Garrett? Garrett's in Vegas? You told him about our plan? No, he's in New York. Why would he be in Vegas? Because that's where I am. I convinced that rich guy to marry me. You did? Yes, we got married as quickly as we could. Anyway, long story short, Andy's dead. Who on earth is Andy? My late husband. I'm pretty sure he had a fatal heart attack. I guess a young bride was more than he could handle. He was like... 90. I can't say I'm too surprised. Are you being serious right now? He's actually dead? He is. I called 911 and had them confirm. Unfortunately, they decided they needed to take me in for questioning. They're going to pin this guy's death on me, and I don't even know if I'll be getting his inheritance. This is a disaster. A disaster is an understatement. I'm assuming you haven't told my brother about this. I need to call him right away. No, wait. He must be worried enough already. Besides, it's not like he can give me the money anymore. I'm going to call your mother and ask her to travel here with bail money in case I need it. Should I pack my bags too? No, that's okay. You've already done more than enough, Rosalie. We'll try our best to make sure I get the money. Your mother will ask your maid to keep an eye on you while she's gone. Is that okay with you? I'm not a child, Tiffany. I'm used to being home alone. I don't need Irma's supervision. Okay, you should probably discuss that with your mother. I can't keep using my phone for much longer. The police officers here seem pretty stern. They said I had to be here for at least two days to sort everything out. God, I can't believe this is how I'll be spending my wedding day. How could this happen to me? I don't know. I'll call Garrett before they snatch the phone out of my hand. I'll tell him I know about his bankruptcy and offer him my support. I bet he'll be ecstatic once he hears about my newfound wealth. Right, I wanted to tell you something about that. Uh, Garrett's not bankrupt. I made the whole thing up to get you to break up. Sorry, I, I didn't mean for this to happen. Uh, we can talk about this later, okay? Bye for now. Hello? Tiffany, are you still mad? Is everything okay there? Neither my brother nor my mother is answering the phone. Irma said they're probably busy, but I'm starting to get worried. I've been pacing around the house all day. Hello? Good evening, Rosalie. Sorry I couldn't reply earlier, it was a busy day. To answer your question, yes, everything's fantastic. Really? So you were released? Released? I was never imprisoned. Oh, good. So they took the money? Sorry, but there's no they. I'll be upfront with you since you appreciate honesty. Garrett and I just got married. We never even left the state. We set up our guests in a nice hotel for the night and went through with the ceremony as planned while Irma kept you distracted. You must be joking. I can assure you I'm being serious. Take a look at our wedding photos. Aren't they spectacular? Cutting down the guest list was a wonderful idea. You lied? to me? And why is mom standing next to you? Was she in on this too? You could say that. She was very displeased when she saw your text to your brother. This is so mean-spirited. I knew you were heartless. You really have the nerve to call me heartless after all you've done? You've been acting bratty this whole time. Excuse me? If you were younger, I might have been a bit more understanding, but you're in high school. How could you be this insensitive? Ever since your father passed away, your brother's been trying his best to be a good role model for you. He's been nothing but kind and patient. He's been trying to grant your every wish. He even let you invite your whole class to his wedding, and what does he get in return? You've insulted him, you've deceived him, you've disrespected his wishes, enough is enough. How dare you accuse me of being unkind to my brother? I was only trying to help him. We both know that's not true. I love Garrett more than anything else in the world. Naturally, I only want the best for his little sister, but I'm not going to bite my tongue as you attempt to walk all over us. This is not fair. I'm going to tell mom all about this. I don't think she'll be any help. She agreed that you lacked discipline and promised she'd try to work on that with you. This is all your fault. I hate you. Remember when you told me you weren't a child? Why don't you try acting a bit more mature? It'll be better for all of us in the long run. I can't believe you made me miss out on my brother's wedding. I've been looking forward to this day for ages. Well, you still have a chance to get invited to our vow renewal ceremony. Hopefully by then, you'll have seen how destructive your behavior can be. Forget it. That's never going to happen. Never say never. Never. I was furious for a while, but eventually moved past it. After the wedding, when I saw that my mother had really decided to dedicate all her time to helping me work on my attitude, I asked her to let me see a therapist to learn ways of dealing with grief, anxiety, and insecurities. The progress has been slow, but I'm definitely in a better headspace now. I even asked my brother and sister-in-law for forgiveness. It's been five years since that day, and despite the fact that she's been nothing but kind and compassionate towards me, I still can't look Tiffany in the eye without feeling a strange mixture of guilt and fear. Though I have to admit, looking back at our texts now, she really wasn't as scary as I remembered. 
I'm sure she'll be even less scary once my niece is born. I'm truly happy for my brother. And hey, if their relationship continues to be this strong, I'll definitely be getting an invite to their vow renewal someday, right?